The result of this is over 100 unique bosses in the game, each with their own mechanics and attack patterns, but also they're going to look different because the developer has emphasized that these bosses will not just be upscaled versions of normal or elite enemies. Shots fired. <laughs> uh Oh, Diablo 4, come on, come on, come on. You know, they're just a little dev group. Come on, guys. Path of Exile 2, don't make fun of Diablo 4. They're just they're just a very small developer, you know? They don't know what they're doing. You know, you, you don't need to give them such a hard time. Uh, the fights that they've showcased, I gotta say, they look really interesting. Like, the like literal the literal look of these bosses. It's just, like, the right amount of unsettling. Just some really creepy yes. boss design. Also, the sounds of, like, if you just listen and watch some of these boss fights. It's just really creepy stuff, but re very, very cool. Real, real impressive world and environment that they've built here. And, yeah. yes, some interesting mechanics as well. Bosses going through different phases, doing different ground attacks, attacks for you to avoid, all that stuff. Wait, wait, wait. So they don't just do, like, three things and then that's it on repay? You're saying that they actually have phases and different abilities and different uh, attack patterns and stuff like that? What? That sounds... That sounds like a lot of work. I can't believe they did so much work. Oh, man. They, they're just really showing up all of the other ARPG developers right now stuff right uh, also keep in mind that this is all pre-end game stuff so you got the, the 100 unique bosses as you're playing through the six x campaign and then for end game well the expectation right now is that much of the same activities that are in the base path of exile will be coming over to the sequel we're talking maps which is kind of like the base way to play end game your goal okay. is to kill monsters in a zone and then get a boss at the end yep. and there is the bossing where, where you're killing difficult end game bosses to earn these extremely powerful unique items there's heist where you're trying to steal these rare artifacts that help you in the rogue companions there's the labyrinth which is a dungeon filled with traps that enables you to farm stronger enchantments for your item this sounds so cool man there's so much to do there's so much to do you don't just finish the campaign and then have nothing to do it, you're gonna be kept busy that's so nice um, there's delving this infinitely generated endgame dungeon that gets progressively harder with increasing rewards there's simulacrum these 30 wave encounters with monsters and bosses to kill there's the uber blight i mean there's a reason that base path of exile has been growing over the course of its lifetime and yeah just peak concurrent player count just a few weeks ago they just keep adding content it, it keeps getting better and better like the new expansion recently you know something completely new and uh, yeah, they just keep feeding their audience, feeding their player base, and the player base is eating it up. Even though it's over a decade old. Some other improvements that are looking to come in Path of Exile 2 include an updated skill system with 240 active skill Woo! gems and realize that these are basically just your active abilities. So there's 240 skill gem abilities in the game. And That's crazy. Think about that. 240? Holy cow. How many abilities do you think there are in Diablo 4? Just off the top of my head... Mmm, I'm gonna say like maybe 16 per class and then so what is that? There's five classes uh, I'm guessing like maybe 70 abilities for Diablo 4. That's that's my guess just off the top of my head I don't know I could be totally off. I could be way off, but that's my guess right now and in addition to that, 200 support gems that further modify the behavior of those abilities. They're making it so that projectiles are affected by gravity. They'll be losing vertical height the further they travel, reducing off-screening. They have bullet drop. They thought to add bullet drop in this game. That's... The level of detail is just insane. I keep saying it. It's just insane from projectiles that's an interesting change in terms of like the bullet point highlights of features like if the back of the box stuff if boxes were still a thing for buying games they mentioned 100 distinct environments over 600 monsters like i said 100 plus bosses 1500 passive skills the, those 240 active skills that i mentioned 700 different equipment types the game's gonna have six person co-op they're gonna do cross play between pc and the console versions and they will have i feel like i'm drooling <laughs> i <laughs> I feel like I was just staring at this and just drooling, man. This is nuts. The Path of Exile 2 is going to be awesome. There's just, yeah, I completely agree. The purpose of your video is very apparent and uh, very agreeable, Mr. Force Gaming. This, uh, yes, Path of Exile 2 is going to be absolutely awesome.